Hey everybody, uh, it's, it's Joel, and this is 3D Printing Nerd, of course, uh, but, well, this is the garage, and uh, my, my hair has been under a hat all day. We're going to do a little vlog. Uh, I'm Joel, this is 3D Printing Nerd. Well, as you can see, I'm in the garage. I, I filmed out here for uh, a number of videos, and... It just got cold. It's cold. It's cold right now. You can probably hear the furnace is on trying to heat the house. We don't heat the garage. It's somewhat insulated, but it's still cold. And so I don't film in here anymore. Uh, behind me, you can see the shelves. You can see Lunch Bullet Bill. There's uh, there's the pony. Um, so let's see. So as far as the garage goes, we're 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 gonna move some stuff out of here, and I'll get to that in just a sec. But uh, right over there let's see right there that is a food dehydrator slash filament dryer that's got some nylon in there right now the purpose of that is to dry out my filaments uh, Daniel Array of 3d Benchy fame and open RC fame and just being a, a wonderful human fame he told me to go get a filament dryer because of some PETG issues I was having on my Zortrax M300. So I did. Thanks for the recommendation, Daniel. Also, uh, you can't see it, but um, maybe it's way over here. This is the Zortrax M300 in the garage because it's going back. I had a problem with the M300 and the M200. So I spoke with my friends at Zortrax. They didn't like hearing that. So they've got an M300 and an M200 coming out my way. Plus, apparently, um, I also have an Inventure, I think is what it's called. It's a new machine that can take some new materials. It's supposed to be really cool. Uh, I hope to showcase those on the channel and just kind of show you what they're all about. I was really excited about the M300, but man, I had some issues. And, well, it's going back and I'm getting a new one. Hopefully there won't be issues. Um, yeah, well, I'll tell you what, since we've moved out of the garage, Let's go, let's go upstairs and let's take a tour. Okay, here we are. We are upstairs and this is where my studio is gonna be. You can kind of get a layout of the room behind me and you can kind of get a layout of the room right here. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll get the camera closer to some stuff because there's some things I wanna update you on and then uh, hopefully you will see, wow, that's really cool, and you'll leave me comments about what you wanna see more of, and I can prioritize the video workload. Um, come with me. This is the Robo R2. This is the one that I did the video on where I compared this to a high school student trying to achieve an A but getting a C in the classes, I think is what it was. Robo has reached out and they've sent me a new R2 with some updates to it and it's still in the box. I haven't had time to take it out of the box, but if that's something you would like to see, please leave a comment down below and I'll get it prioritized. This is R2 uh, next to the Robo R2. So here's the box right here, right behind my head, right here. That's a TiVo Tornado. TiVo sent me the Tornado and they didn't give me any sort of timeline or any sort of review requirements. Uh, the TiVo just sent it saying, we'd love to know what you think about this machine and when you have a moment, please take it out of the box, set it up and get to printing on it. Uh, I was hoping to get it out during this Christmas break. I don't know if I'll be able to, but if the TiVo Tornado is something you'd like to see on the channel, why don't you leave a comment down below? Right, R2? <whistles> Can't do it. Hey, we're still on the floor and ooh. This is the Zix 3D printer, and these are enclosures for the Ultimaker 2 and the Ultimaker 3 3D printer. I have a review ready for this, but I haven't filmed it because I'm not sure if that's something you want to see. Of course, if you want to see the Zix review, please leave a comment down below. If you'd like to see me open up this wonderful box from Printed Solid, which contains enclosures for the Ultimaker 2 and the Ultimaker 3 3D printers, obviously leave a comment down below. All right, let's, uh, let's get off the floor. Over here in this corner, we've got the FormBot T-Rex 2 Plus 3D printer. It's the dual extrusion printer that has the independent extruders, much like the, much like the Sigma 
but it's got a build volume similar to the G Max 1.5 XT Plus. I've done a lot of really cool prints on this. In fact, uh, I just finished an awesome print that you'll get to see before the new year. However, I do owe a review on this machine. I've done a lot of prints. I have an opinion on this. If this is something you'd love to see on the channel, please leave a comment down below so I can get it in the queue. Oh, and before I forget, that's the CR-10S4, I think it is. And, well, I this was printed on the Ray's 3D N2 Plus. This is the Mega Man Blaster. But it's kind of small for me. So what I did is I printed this on the CR-10S4 right here. Much larger, much bigger. And the goal is to finish this because it's not gold and yellow in the video game, it's blue. So I would, you know, prime it, sand it, paint it. I'd try to get Bill from Punish Props maybe to, to help me out with some tips. So I love having him on the channel. I think you guys like it as well. If seeing me finish a model such as this Mega Man Blaster would be something you'd want to see on the channel, leave a comment down below. All right, here is something really cool. I found this model on Thingiverse and it's a, it's a measuring cube. It's supposed to replace all of these. I love me a good kitchen gadget and I love me a good practical print. Uh, so the plan is to kind of show you around this cube and to test whether or not each of the sections actually correspond with a measuring cup size. And if something like that is what you want to see on the channel, more practical prints, more kitchen gadgets, more testing of prints, then leave a comment down below. This is the Palette Plus from Mosaic, and it's just finished uh, a pretty decent print. It looks like this. There we go, and there's the purge block for it. I really like this, or the, <laughs> the Palette Plus. I almost lost my words there. I think that uh, there are some things to take into consideration before you consider purchasing it, but uh, once you have it, once you get it dialed in, once you get everything tuned up, it can produce some amazing results. I currently have it hooked up to my GMAX printer right there. Let's see if you can see that. And the GMAX, which obviously has a BuildTac removable <laughs> build plate on it, is wonderful. With the palette, it's otherworldly. And is that something you want to see? Do you want to see kind of a, a deep dive into the Palette Plus, the hardware, kind of show off some of the prints it's made and some of the, the things I found out about it? If that interests you, please leave a comment down below. Well, right here, this is the Raze 3D N2 Plus 3D printer. And this is the Bontech Dual Drive Extruder for the N2 and N2 Plus 3D printer. Bontech was kind enough to send this over and asked me to get it on the N2 Plus at some point so I could give it a try and let you guys know what I think and show you some of the cool stuff that it's able to do. If that's something you want to see, if you're interested in seeing the install of a Bontech dual drive extruder on the N2 Plus and you're interested in seeing the prints it can achieve and just, I don't know, I really want to send some flexibles through this. If that's something you want to see on the channel, then please leave a comment down below. All right, all right, all right. Well, I think we've come to the end of this little choose your own adventure vlog for the channel. Got my computer right here. I do need to get the footage off this and get it here so that I can get it to you and published in a few hours. I do have uh, some cool things coming up. I'm looking at a metal 3D printer later in the day. I'm also taking a trip down to Puget Systems because they built me a machine and I get to go pick it up. Um, after all that, of course, it's going to be Christmas and New Year's and all sorts of fun stuff. So please, whatever you saw in this video that you want to see more of, leave a comment down below and let me know you want to see that on the channel. And then with enough comments and enough people, I can prioritize what to do with the little bits of time that I do get. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I'm just going to cut it short. Don't forget to hug each other more. I love you guys. As always, high five.